and last ilium. And duodenum, ah, in Latin, small intestine, that is intestinum tenue, tenue, or Greek name is enteron, enteron. That is why uh, mesenterium of small intestine has name mesenterium, mesenterium. Duodenum, that is pyloric opening, and first part of duodenum has name superior part, pars superior, then descendants part, then horizontal part and ascendance part and ascendance then continues into jejunum um, superior part start at the level of l1 today you already said that pyloric opening is at the level of uh, 12th thoracic or first lumbar more better first lumbar l1 that is pars superior then Pars descendants descend to the level of L3, horizontal part the same at the level of L3, and ascendance part goes to the level of L2. Now, uh, syntopia, that is, inner organs which surround duodenum. Above of duod duodenum, that is, that is a liver. Behind posteriorly, posteriorly, we have kidney. right kidney together with adrenal gland. Medially, medially, it is head of what? What is it? head of pancreas, and in front of descendants part, it is uh, transverse colon, transverse colon, and mesa colon transversum. Anteriorly, in front from horizontal part. We have superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein, two, two large vessels, superior mesenteric artery and vein. And uh, behind, posterior, posteriorly of duodenum, we have inferior vena cavi and aorta. That is topography of duodenum. Now, some words about duodenum. Beginning in place where pyloric opening op opens into the duodenum, that is uh, short, uh, short, short part of duodenum uh, where we have short longitudinal folds, has name bulb, bulbus duodeni, bulbus duodeni, that is beginning of duodenum, where we have longitudinal folds. First circular fold, that is a border of the bulb. Bulbus duodeni finished at the level of first circular folds. And then all another uh, departments of small intestine everywhere, in duodenum, in jejunum, in ilium, everywhere, circular folds. And uh, one another longitudinal fold, we can see in pars descendants, this place has name plica longitudinalis duodeni, and on the apex of this plica, we can found papilla, papilla duodeni major. This papilla, that is a place where pancreatic duct and ductus haledahus, uh, that is common bile duct, uh, uh, they join together, makes ampule, and this ampule, ampulla hepatopancreatica, opens into the duodenum through papilla duodeni major. That is why bile and pancreatic juice uh, comes to duodenum through papilla duodeni major. Sometimes we can find papilla duodeni minor, lesser papilla. And uh, in this case, additional pancreatic duct, ductus pancreaticus accessorius, opens into papilla duodeni minor. Uh, small intestine, the same like large intestine, has three coats, external serous, that is peritoneum, a middle muscular coat, which consists of two layers of muscles, external longitudinal and inner layer, that is circular muscles, and uh, mucous membrane. Mucous membrane of small intestine has submucous tele and makes circular folds longitudinal only in bulbus and in horizon in the descendants part of duodenum. Then, um, 
then cirrhose, tunica cirrhosa, peritoneum. Duodenum supplies with peritoneum, only one side of duodenum has peritoneum. That is why it is extra peritoneal position, extra peritoneal. Sometime beginning of duodenum, the same like stomach supplies from all sides, all sides, but uh, another parts of duodenum has extra peritoneal position and uh, jejunum and ilium jejunum and ilium they has intraperitoneal position intraperitoneal from all sides and they has mesenterium and that is common specific feature of jejunum and ilium both of them has mesenterium that is why that is why sometimes jejunum and ilium together combined in one name, mesenterial part of small intestine, intestinum tenue mesenteriale, mesenterial part. And there is no clear border where jejunum finishes and where ilium starts. There is no clear border. We cannot uh, say that heat is, that is end of jejunum and that is beginning of ilium. Only we can say that in place where duodenum finish and jejunum start, that is beginning of jejunum. And in place where small intestine insert into the large intestine, into the cecum, that is heat is terminal part of small intestine, that is ilium. Heat is jejunum, heat is ilium. And where there is border between them, impossible to found. Clear it is? Uh, small differences between jejunum and ilium, main differences between jejunum and ilium, that is presence in ilium pair of pairs patches. What are they? Mucous membrane of all digestive tract in esophagus, in stomach, in small, in large intestine, everywhere. We have lymphoid follicles, lymphoid folliculi lymphoidi. Solitary and folliculi lymphoidi aggregates, aggregates follicles, but aggregates follicles only in ileum. In all in other departments, we can found only folliculi lymphoidi aggregates. Uh, what is the function of lymphoid follicles? What do you think? What is the function? Why we need in lymphoid follicles? That is. Protection, of course. The same like tonsils in oral cavity, tonsils in nasopharynx, and lymphoid follicles in small in uh, digestive tract. That is protection from infection, and uh, that is why every today you read about stomach and in mucous membrane of stomach we also have uh, folliculi lymphoidi solitari, and in small intestine and in large intestine everywhere, and. In ilium, these solitary follicles to combine together and make patches that they are places where follicles, oh, a lot of follicles present in one place. Folliculi lymphoidi aggregati. And these pair patches we can found only in ilium. That is main differences between ilium and jejunum. All another differences, not so important. Uh, jejunum is wider. It's thicker, it uh, uh, has more numerous villi intestinalis, more better supplies with blood, but this difference is not so important. Main difference is presence of pears patches in ileum. In ileum. Now, a large intestine. Large int intestine consists of uh, cecum, that is blind beginning of large intestine, from ileum or from cecum start Appendix vermiformis, appendix vermiformis, acute appendicite, that is inflammation of this appendix. Next department, that is uh, colon, colon, and colon consists of colon ascendance, then colon transversum, then colon descendance, and large, last is sigmate colon. And sigmate colon continues into, into the rectum, into the rectum. And rectum finished with canalis analis and 
uh, annus, annus, that is annual uh, opening. Uh, one again, large intestine, intestinum crassum, intestinum crassum in Latin consists of cecum, that is cecum, together with appendix vermiformis, then colon, which consists of ascendance, transverse, descendants, and sigmate colon, and rectum. Rectum, the same, consists of upper part that is uh, pars pelvina, widest part of rectum that is ampulla recti, and last part that is canalis analis and anus, uh, uh, anal opening. Um, now, uh, peritoneum. How peritoneum supplies uh, large intestine? Sicum and appendix vermiformis has intraperitoneal position uh, from all sides supplies with peritoneum and appendix has meso appendix that is mesentery of appendix vermiformis the meso appendix uh, colon ascendance and colon descendants has meso peritoneal position three walls of them supplies with peritoneum Transverse colon and sigmate colon has intraperitoneal position and mesentery of transverse colon that is mesocolon transversum and mesentery of sigmate colon that is mesocolon sigmaidum and rectum in upper part the same has intraperitoneal position and mesentery of rectum is mesorectum Middle part of rectum has mesoperitoneal, three sides supplies with peritoneum, and lower part has extra peritoneal position. Uh, now, main differences between large intestine and small intestine. Three main differences which we can see on the corp or in living man in time of operation, for example, we cut abdominal cavity, opens abdominal cavity, and we can see intestine, and Nestor to identify what is it, large or small intestine. First difference is that is presence of tenia coli. Longitudinal muscles in large intestine, it is not uh, complete, not surround all surface of intestine, but longitudinal muscles makes three bundles. One bundle, one, one bundle in place where, where mesentery attached to transverse colon. That is why name of this tenia, name of this bundle of longitudinal muscle is tenia mesocolica. Another uh, bundle that is uh, tenia libera, free, free bundle that is uh, on anterior surface of transverse colon. And last bundle in place where greater amentum attached to transverse colon, in name of this bundle that is tenia omentalis. Three tenia. Tenia mesocolica, tenia libera, and tenia omentalis. Three bundles of longitudinal muscles, and uh, spaces between them uh, looks like. Uh, Mm, protrusions on the surface of intestine, that is haustra coli, uh, circulation of, uh, of surface of large intestine, they are haustra coli, uh, circulation in spaces between tenia coli, that is why, that is second differences between large and small intestine. And last differences, that is peritoneum, peritoneum, serous code, has processes which contain fat inside. Fat is, uh, in, uh, together with peritoneum, uh, makes short uh, processes on the surface of large intestine. Name of these processes are appendices epiploides, epiploic appendix. Only in large intestine we can see this appendices epiploids. Uh, never uh, we not found them in small intestine. That is three main differences. Presence of tenia coli, presence of haustra coli, and presence of appendices epiploids. They are visual differences, what we can see. Another difference is in large intestine, there is no submucous tela. 
telesubmucosa is absent, in small intestine it's present. That is why in small intestine circular folds makes with the help of tunica mucosa together with telesubmucosa. In large intestine uh, semilunar folds makes with the help of mucous muscular and serous, all layers of intestine makes folds. That is why that is differences in folds. Villi intestinalis are absent in large intestine. Alkaline medium in small and acid medium, the same like in stomach, acid medium in large intestine. Uh, I, some differences in functions. For example, I think you know that in small intestine, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, uh, they digest in small intestine and in large intestine absorptions of water of vitamins some vitamins produced in large intestine for example vitamin k uh, that is differences in function between large and small intestine and now oh uh, i forgot to explain some flexura in small intestine we can see flexura duodeni superior flexura duodeni inferior and flexura duodena jejunalis. In large intestine, flexura coli dexter, flexura coli sinister, and in rectum, in rectum, we have two flexura. First, that is flexura sacralis, it's attached to sacral bone, flexura sacralis, and another flexura, that is flexura perinealis two flexura in rectum, flexura sacralis and flexura perinealis, in place where rectum pass through muscles of pelvic diaphragm. Now, not necessary to draw, only you need to know this information. That is only for your understanding. Now, 